Hey, thanks for stopping back by for another CBD video. I am your pilot, JT, and today we're going to talk about getting max range when doing your distance tests. So I'm going to share with you a couple things that I do. Maybe they'll help you uh, break your old records. There's a couple things that go into getting that max distance. Proper battery care, understanding wind, understanding how your drone is going to respond to that wind, and good throttle control. I fly a uh, Phantom 4 Pro plus Obsidian Edition and I've got three batteries total and I charge them right before I go out to fly. When in storage I like to store them right around 3.85 volts and when, I, when I'm getting ready to fly I'll charge them up that way they're not sitting there and the levels are going down. When I walk out the door I want the battery to be at a hundred percent and full voltage. So a couple things that I do uh, where, where some people make some mistakes when doing these distance tests. What a lot of people will do is they will is they're gonna go out fire that thing up and they're gonna mash that stick forward. All you're doing by doing that is you're burning that battery. Now if you look in the bottom left hand corner of my screen recording you'll see percentage of power that I'm using. That tells me how much demand I'm putting on that battery. So I like to be right around 30 to 40 percent. Sometimes I'll go up to 50 just depending on how the wind is working with me. So 30 to 40 percent it's gonna put me right around 30 to 35 miles an hour. Now believe it or not if, if I just full stick forward now I'm running at 70 to 80 percent battery demand and I'm only getting a few more miles an hour. So by holding that stick steady at about a third stick, I'm gonna have 30 to 40 percent demand on my battery and I'm gonna be right around 20 to 30 miles an hour. Now it's not worth it to mash that stick forward and put a 70 to 80 percent power demand on that battery for a few more miles an hour. As you'll see in my video here, I hit 21,300 feet roughly uh, which is right around four miles and that makes for an eight mile round trip on a single battery so a couple tricks that I'm gonna show you is when you are controlling the right throttle stick here what I'll do is I'll put my thumb on the remote itself I'll push it about a third of the way forward or a 30, 30 to 40 percent uh, battery demand and then I'll lock that in. Now I want to make sure that I'm over 20 miles an hour so whatever percentage of demand that puts on the battery is where you're at. If you're over 50 percent then you've got too much wind and it's not a good day to do a distance test. Now if my fingers on top any move I make is going to hit that throttle and you're going to send slight jolts of electricity through your drone which is not only killing your battery uh, but it's going to kill your distance as well have that good control by putting your thumb on the remote at the base of the stick fly into the wind when taking off if you mess up and you go over uh, the percentage of battery that you should when you come back now you've got to fight that wind and you're going to use a lot more battery so you're going to you're going to take off into the wind you're going to use more battery on the way out that way when you come back You've got a little bit of redundancy there to help you get back. That good tailwind is going to push you along using less power. Many times I'll throw mine into Addy mode also because that's kind of shutting down more systems in the drone using less power. And it's also going to allow me to go a lot faster. So I use Addy mode a lot. That's one of the big ways I'm able to get my distances. Normally I will throw it in Addy mode on the way back uh, because now I have that good tailwind and I'm using less systems which means I can go a lot faster now by pushing that stick all the way forward like I said you're gonna run 70 to 80 percent power demand on that battery and you're only gonna get a few more miles an hour so yes you'll get there quicker but by the time you get there you're gonna have less battery so good stick control take off into the wind maintain your batteries battery care is super important it's crucial for not only extending the life of the battery uh, but doing these long distance tests like this so 
take care of your batteries no matter where you're at in your flight if you're if you're to a point where you're like oh man I'm gonna break yesterday's record you've got to have that cutoff meaning that when my battery gets to 55 normally around 60% battery left I'm turning around no matter where I'm at I don't care if it's a few few more feet to break that record I'm turning around because I'm not gonna lose my drone uh, three quarters of the way back in somebody's tree uh, I don't know about you but twenty five hundred to three thousand uh, dollars drop into the ground I'm not cool with that that's about what I have invested in my drone so also I will fly at normally right around 600 feet when doing my distance tests yes you should be at 400 feet or lower but I feel like out here in the country if I'm flying at 400 feet I'm buzzing people's houses and I don't want to do that I, I don't want to piss uh, my neighbors off I don't want to bother them with with my fun so I'll fly normally around 600 sometimes even 800 feet and I'm very aware of what's around me I'm very aware of uh, flight traffic uh, which is very very little considering where I'm at when I get about three quarters of the way back that's when I'll start my descent and I'll do a nice slow descent I'll throw it into sport mode uh, for a little ways and then finally I'll throw it into P mode and slow the drone down a lot more and what I'm doing is I'm allowing that battery to adjust instead of just throwing it into to P mode going from a lot of battery demand to hardly any I'm gonna slowly let that battery conform to the flight pattern and it's not gonna be a shock to that system so every little thing that you do can determine how long your battery lasts how far you're able to fly on that battery with the setup that I have and I use the four Hawks XR on this remote on my regular Phantom 4 Pro I use the SR but on this one I use the XR which is about the size of a freaking laptop and honestly I can't tell much difference the SR will get me the the same distance I'll actually run out of battery before I run out of distance with just one of these simple distance tests doing a round trip I'm able to go right around four to four and a half miles out and four to four and a half miles back so if I do a true distance test where I'm running the battery all the way out um, I have no doubt that that XR right there, it, it would probably get me, I think it would probably get me, and this is going to be a rough guesstimate, six to six to eight miles, if not more. Um, if I get in the second story window of my house and I'm pointing out, I could probably go out 10 miles easy. Uh, you'll see in my video, I'm 21,300 feet out and at 2.4 gigahertz that signal is full bars so that's four miles out and I still have full bars as usual I appreciate you guys coming by and checking out one of my videos I do like to upload a couple a week uh, if you like what you've seen please like comment and subscribe even if, even if you don't if I'm doing something wrong or if you think I'm doing something wrong let me know I'm open to constructive criticism um, go out try this if you're into the distance thing go out and try these little these little steps that I just told you about see if you can get further than your last flight and see, and then come back to a CBD and comment let us know how you did let us know if these tips uh, extended your distance I'm kind of curious to see if it works for everybody else as well so, as usual, thanks for stopping by. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. I am your pilot, JT, and until I see you next time.